All right, so I'm gonna do something that YouTubers normally don't do. I'm gonna open up, tell you the ideas and the background of what we got going on here. So I think 2021's our year. In our heads, that is our next season. TV has seasons, and that is a good idea. They write for the seasons, they shoot for six months, then they have a break, and then rewrite the next season. With YouTube, there is no break. It is just a three year long season. We also have had a lot of external pressure from sponsors and people like that pushing us to be serious four-wheel drivers. When we are not, we are going to go back to our OG times, our challenges, our crazy builds. Because, to honest to God, I don't think anyone gives a fuck that we're driving the same three tracks that we have for the past three years and camping and forward driving. No one cares, no one cares. That market is absolutely saturated. There needs to be something else going on. That's the OG shit, that's what we're all about. If you like that, stick around, but if you don't, you can, you can fuck right off. Spud's here, we're gonna have a beer with Spud. We're gonna check out his new rig. I'm gonna show you the beer villains, what we got going on with that. I'm really excited for the next season, boys. Let's go. Do you want to have a look? No. <laughs> exactly the same as fucking mine. No. Looks exactly like mine, but just yours is an auto. I don't know cruisers, man, so you got to teach me. I'll teach you. I've always They're all been... pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you tell me. Yeah. I don't know I don't know why I keep ending up with them. <laughs> I'd rather it's cheap. So if this is the beer wheel, so what's yours, bro? Nav number two. <laughs> <laughs> just call it the nav. <laughs> the nav. The replacement. So how this is now is how I've ordered except for the rims. Get in here. Yeah, right. You got the wood grain floors up yeah, right here. We are MG compressor. But yeah, I bought the old GXL rims a couple days ago. I've got me RMG lights, so I put lights on it. Needs a bit of bit of maintenance, so I gotta paint the fucking under chassis. This is a bit fucking you know how you're going for a 20 year old car. He's alright, hey? Man, they're so roomy inside, eh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, I'll get there, guys. I'll get there. It'll be back to where the nav was with all the gear on it. We only had it for fucking. We only had it for a week. Yeah. What happened to the nav is that me thinking, oh, yeah, I'll go for a four wheel drive at Tamala with a friend of mine. I went through a hole. And I thought, oh, yeah, this hole's not too bad. So I went through it, and no joke, the water was that far off the bottom of my snorkel. That's how deep this hole was. Anyway, a couple days later, what happens is between, there's two wires on the back of the injector pump. So there's a computer, fucking stupid computer on top of the injector pump. So when water gets inside the insulation on those two wires, it corrodes the wires together and they short out and fucks the injector pump. They gave me some money for it. I had a bit of money saved up. So I bought this old girl. So I'm back to square one. <laughs> yeah, the old nav, she got a good cop, the good flogging. Is that your first car? No, that was my first car. It was my first, first four-wheel drive. First four-wheel drive, and that's where I learnt four-wheel driving. Yeah. Oh yeah, solid front axle, mate. I'll be able to do anything with it now. <laughs> what we should do is just run a hose from the intake, and then when we're going up a hill, we just go. <laughs> <laughs> Soon as I took this for a drive, I fucking loved it. That was it. Just straight up, just like a lounge chair. chair. Plenty of torque in the motor, you know, like they're not real fucking, you know. But yeah, not plenty. quick, but they're... yeah. Why don't you go full airbags, bro? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just got to pull $1,200 out of me fucking, out of me asshole. <laughs> Fuck, toss up. <laughs> Not all fucking plumbers, eh? <laughs> I like me parking, but. Yeah, it's good. That's proper fucking sick puppy parking right there. Bro, is there anything on this rig that you're seeing and you're thinking, bro, yeah, like, I might steal that idea. Not really. No. Like, why the fuck? Like, what's the point in that? No, nah, nothing. Point of what? No. Point of what? No. The oil cooler. Hey, <laughs> you little blue nah, ball. He's fucking stupid. They fuck look it. sexy as fuck. Are oh, you gonna start it? No, I don't want to start. I'm just saying, how do you start? Oh, it? so you put that on, put the battery in, oh, and then so you, you grab this red wire, and then you glow it. <laughs> oh, so that shit glow. <laughs> So then you glow it, and then you just get in and start it. Oh, fuck me. It's pretty good. So what I do need, and I want to put it to the viewers, 
I need a rear bar. I need a dual tire carrier because we have some plans, but dual tire carriers are like impossible to find in this day and age. So if you have one around Townsville, let me know. We'll pay for freight if you're not in Townsville, but we need one. Two. Two. We need two, actually. <laughs> so my idea is to do, remember adventure quads? Yeah. We're going to do adventure skis. The whole idea is to go from here to the islands and we're going to camp on the island for a night with the skis. So your ski has to make it from here to there. I'm not sure if this one will. The, whole, the, the name of this one is Beer Watch. You know Baywatch? Beer this one's Beer Watch. So there's going to be like a rack on the back that holds the esky. Yeah. And then I'm going to have like another hook that holds like a couple of crab pods so we can go crabbing. But then I'm going to also going to have a mount for an outboard. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to take Dad's boat. No, you're going to take oh, a ski. Oh, watch out! Oh, watch out! You're going to have a ski. Save buying a second one, just tow a spud along. Yeah, we'll make, we'll make a trailer, we'll make a camera trailer for the jet <laughs> yeah. ski with a seat. <laughs> While you're driving, I'm sitting there sipping beers. Just get like a full lounge chair, bro. <laughs> Lazy with boy. The ski. <laughs> like side awning. <laughs> and then when we're done, we'll drag it on the island. <laughs> and then that's your camp set up. Done. Done. Well, we can't give any too, too many ideas. Fuck yeah, yeah, we're throwing them all out. <laughs> but it's just getting the boys keen, you know. Yeah, fucking nice. Uh, by the way, the sling. These things are coming late March. For those who missed it, it is a pre-order. So we didn't already have these. These things are coming to us, and then we'll box them up, and then they get sent to you. We're getting a lot of messages of people asking where they are, but they are a pre-order. So they do take a bit of time, but it is worth it, my boys. Worth the wait. Oi, let's make up a fucking trailer for this. Can't then. Fridge door. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you want to, instead of you doing a ski, did you want to focus on making a trailer mm -hmm. and we tow it behind the ski? But you gotta make, you gotta make it like. No, we gotta do it together. Oh, we can do it together. Yeah, fucking nice. Chef's button. I don't know how to call it. I'll just get on to you. <laughs> get on the He's beers. a fraud. Well, there you have it, guys. Everything's been touched on. So we just thought we'd give you a bit of an update on Spud's car, on the Beerbulance, and upcoming projects. It's going to be wicked. So the next season is all full steam ahead. We're ready to go. But thanks for being patient, boys. Really appreciate it. We have got things on the go. Don't panic. See you next time. We got the beer villains coming. We got Spud's new build coming. We got the jet skis coming. And heaps of adventure episodes. We'll see you in the next one. Bush! Just put the waves under me. Yeah. <laughs>